And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. The good news is a Houstonian is headed to the Super Bowl. Damien Square is a Third Ward native, and the start of this season was anything but smooth for him. After playing for five teams alone this season, the defensive tackle for the Cincinnati Bengals is hoping to earn a ring when he faces off with the L.A. Rams in a few weeks. Tonight, an exclusive interview with him and how he got there. First of all, Damien, congratulations. Did you ever suspect you'd be headed to the Super Bowl, the big dance? Uh, no, man. Actually, like, I thought my football season was over, man. I actually been on five football teams this year, man. I started off the year in Cleveland with the Browns. That didn't quite work out. Didn't finish, even finish camp with them. Um, end up going to New Orleans. Uh, for a few days, the hurricane hit New Orleans, displaced the team and put them in Dallas. I wasn't feeling that move either because the team had to be displaced in Dallas for about two weeks. So I, I, I you know, said no to that job and uh, went home again. Um, got picked up by the Bears and ended up playing with the Bears in week one against the Rams, which is odd that I'm about to face the Rams again in the Super Bowl. But I uh, played with the Bears, played a little bit with the Bears. Um, and I was actually on practice squad, just luckily got elevated for the game and then um, ended up getting cut by those guys too and going to the Raiders, playing a whole football season with the Raiders, making it to the playoffs, um, going through a crazy season with them um, with some of the things that we had going on off the field with um, um, my guy Henry Ruggs, man. Uh, hopefully he can figure that out. And then um, – some of the other things that went on with Coach Gruden and uh, the things that he had going on with the league, man. So just to get over some of that adversity and make it to the playoffs with that team was, I would say, good enough for me, you know, and because that's what I had to be satisfied with. And then I get a call from the Bengals, and uh, the Bengals are talking about playing some football. I'm thinking they're talking about next football season. Come to find out they're talking about for the AFC championship, um, Come up, didn't think I was going to play too much ball in the game, end up getting the opportunity to play some football in the game and helping the team win. When you realized you were going to the Super Bowl, your thoughts on that? Um, I mean, it's amazing, man. Uh, growing up in Houston, Texas, man, uh, I actually grew up in a time where, you know, the Texans were, weren't around and the Oilers had just kind of left town. So I was kind of too young to just be a true – Oilers fan, and I actually grew up in, a, like I said, in a time where we just didn't have a football team. I watched the Cowboys, you know, do some uh, decent things in the 90s with Dion and Emmitt Smith and those guys. And I remember, you know, sitting in front of the TV oftentimes with my birthday being on a Super Bowl, considering my birthday is on February 6th. But now they've moved the bowl back, you know, uh, one week. So uh, I didn't get so lucky to play it on my uh, birthday this time. But um, I mean, it's just exciting, man, to get to play in the, in the biggest game, you know, I feel on the planet. You know, it's it's just a, it's a showstopper, right? Everybody takes time out of whatever they're doing, man, whatever they got going on to uh, take a look at that football game. So to know that, you know, playing a game that I've been playing since I was a kid is going to give me an opportunity to do that is is amazing. Also joining us now on The Factory is a reporter for Houston Public Media, Siobhan Herndon, also a Houston native who is beyond thrilled to see Damon, her personal friend. They went to grade school together and she made this interview possible. She's excited to see him head to the Super Bowl. We're talking historic. You're historic now. The only player to play for two, two teams in the playoffs, I mean, I looked it up. It's it's there. If you, if you Google it on Wikipedia, it, it's there. The only sure. player it's to bad. play for two teams. And not to mention in the game against the Bengals, you you not only played, you played well. You had three tackles. You had a tackle for a loss with, with Mixon in the backfield. Yeah. And to think your season was over and then to get that call and now the team you just got through, you know, playing against and, you know, Unfortunately, you lost. Here you are about to play for them. And I want to talk about what was that moment like when you realized, oh, my God, I just made history. Um, just to do something first is, is amazing. You know, um, most people uh, live a lifetime and, and never get the opportunity to do something first. 
um, besides be themselves. So um, just to do something first on this planet and to know that, like you said, when you look it up on Google, Wikipedia, hopefully that stuff stays around, um, that somebody can find out a fact like that about me, regardless of where I'm at or what I'm doing, is just amazing. Once again, those two are good friends, and Siobhan texted me this weekend. I say, I got Damien for you. He wants to come on, so we had him on. When we come back, Damien talks about representing not just Houston on the field, but a fellow Third Ward native as well. We'll be right back here on The Factor with this exclusive. And welcome back to The Factor. We are talking with Houstonian Damian Square tonight, who is headed to the Super Bowl with the Cincinnati Bengals. He's from the Third Ward and purposely chose to represent another Houstonian on the field, fellow Third Ward native George Floyd. You talked about George Floyd and you had his name on the back of your helmet. How important was that? Uh, uh, to, to that gesture to do that for George Floyd and his memory? Uh, that was very important to me, man. Um, I grew up with his nieces and nephews in school. I also grew up, um, you know, seeing him at football and basketball games in the neighborhood because I grew up in Third Ward, a very close community, especially when it came, you know, when it evolved around sports and Jack Yates. Uh, my whole family went there uh, generation after generation, man. So, uh, me and his family, me, the Square family and the Floyd family is linked, you know, just throughout the history of Third Ward, man. And um, when I saw, you know, my community move the way that they moved to gain recognition about, you know, what happened to George, it touched me because it reminded me of the strong community that I grew up in, man, and playing ball in the streets and, you know, going up there or to represent the neighborhood or putting it in our haircuts or, you know, doing whatever we could to just have a sense of community of letting people know that we came from Third Ward, which was a, a strong, you know, black community, you know. Uh, so when I had the opportunity to, you know, represent George in, in the NFL and they gave me the opportunity to speak um, on his family's behalf after you know what happened to him up in minnesota um i i took the opportunity you know and um the interview was cool and i'm glad it you know it got out and uh gained recognition but more so for george and you know just what happened and just what that moment stood for and you know where we're at now and Siobhan, uh, how excited are you for your friend? You made this interview possible here on The Factor on Sense and how proud of you are you of uh, Damien Square? I mean, I'm, I'm elated, you know. It, it started at the BCS National Championship. We're talking to a three-time national champion right now with <laughs> Alabama. I'm not going to say roll tie, but this is a three-time <laughs> national you, champion. You did I'm not going to say it. Yeah, I was going to ask you, are you, are you doing the giddy with the, with the rest of your friends over there? With the Bengals, you know, Jamar and Joe Burrow, they like to do the gritty from LSU. So is there some friendly <laughs> rivalry going on with nah, LSU? No. No, no gritty, no gritty for me, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> man, I'm so proud of you. I mean, from the national championship, and then I saw the, uh, you know, I was at the games in uh, San Diego. Then you guys went on to uh, L.A. And so, I mean, from Jack Yates to national championships with the uh, with Bama, and now this, I mean, I mean, your story has been written, man. Your story it, it, has been written. It is crazy, man, and it it continues, you know. Um, every time I try to mentally, you know, create some type of plan, you know, things get shaken up and I got to, you know, recreate a plan, a plan. So I just begin again every day, man. I just, you know, wake up every day and, you know, as long as I got this body and I'm healthy and this thing can go out there and get the job done, and then I'm going to show up for the job as long as they call. So, like I said, I just thank the, the Bengals organization for taking advantage of this opportunity. I didn't even know that this could happen, you know, uh, based on, you know, COVID rules and just different things that's present in this reality right now that, that may not, you know, be able to happen again, you know, and they took advantage of it. Uh, obviously, I put some good things on tape, so I pat myself on the back for that, and <laughs> it is what it is. 
It is what right. it is. I'm, right. I'm telling you, the city is behind you. Third Ward is, sure. is behind you. For sure. <laughs> That's what I love, man. The city get hyped. And I, I love that the city is just keeping up with your boy, man. It used to mean the world of me to wake up and see my face on the paper and know that everybody could could, could view that, man. And I got that same feeling um, having an interview with this guy. One, you know. <laughs> Growing up watching this guy on television, and then you, you know, yeah. growing up in, in in grade school, and also you know being able to experience interviewing with you in college. So yeah. it's a it's a beautiful thing, man. I appreciate this for sure. Absolutely. Well, we want to thank you both for joining us on the Factor Uncensored, and once again, Damon, congratulations and good luck at the big dance. Hey, man. Thank you. And another quick tidbit, Damien says in the offseason, after the Super Bowl, he'll be moving back to Houston, and we'll watch what happens after that.